And then, once you can do this bend, all sorts of blues licks start opening up for you. Because in the cross harp position, which is the key of G, second hole draw, the D, that's the fourth hole draw, is the fifth note of the scale. And the main bend that you do in the blues is to bend to the flatted fifth, which people call a blue note. And you combine it with the hand, wah. And then you can do the warble instead of just, you can go. All of a sudden, that, the blues opens up in front of you like, a, like you've opened up a door into a new world. I remember what it felt like when I bent my first note and it was oh, all that stuff I've been wanting to play. I've been listening to all these blues harmonica players, Paul Butterfield and Junior Wells and Little Walter and James Cotton, and I'd gone to hear some of them live and I just thought it was the greatest stuff I ever heard. And I couldn't do any of it until the one moment where all of a sudden the, the whole thing clicked for me where I could bend a note and then I could bend another note and then another one. So it might happen for you that way. You might have to uh, struggle for a little while. Uh, maybe you'll get the first hole bend right away. Maybe you won't get the fourth hole draw bend right away as easily as you get the first hole because your embouchure, you remember, you have to keep the embouchure. Sometimes when you try to bend for the first time, your embouchure might spread out. And you, you, you kind of lose that seal that is necessary to, to create the air tightness, of, of the, to get the vacuum in your mouth so that everything just happens efficiently. And the same thing as the fourth hole, you don't need to pull real hard on it. You can do this. Ng, ng, ng. It's almost like the like your lower lip goes in a little bit and your upper lip comes out. Ng. A little bit of an overbite almost. You can do it that way. You can do it a lot of different ways. My, the best way is really to keep that lower jaw bigger because it'll give you a, a bigger tone. There's a lot of different ways to, to do this. And you, and you notice you can bend and unbend it. That's a good thing to practice too and that leads later to a certain kind of vibrato that I'll deal with. All right, well, uh, I hope that, that you've had some success uh, with, with these bends, and you can definitely try them along with me. I'll, I'll just bend it a few times slowly, and you can try playing along with me here, okay? This is going to be that fourth hole. I'm going to start it unbent, and then bend down. Here it goes. Breathe between. <laughs> Try bending it down a few times. And then, once you get that, you can try hitting it bent. And then bending it back and forth. And that leads to the simple blues lick. Of bending four down, letting it up to four, and then sliding over to five, which you're not going to bend. So 
bend, unbend, slide over to five. And you do a little wah wah. You can see where these blues licks just come organically from learning how to bend just that one note. It's very important. It's probably the most important bend on the harmonica for playing simple blues.